Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. I know you guys are very excited. All my Terra Luna Classic supporters, let's get right in today's topic. If you guys like these kind of videos, smash that like button and come join the Crypto ZX army, guys. What are you waiting for? We are going to hit 100,000 subscribers, and I need each and every one of you guys to come and let's make our community the strongest community in the space. Looking at the price of Terra Luna Classic, it is currently trading at 0.00018 cents down about 1.8% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative, also down about 1.8% in Bitcoin comparative over the last 24 hours. If we're looking at the market cap, market cap is currently sitting at $1.09 million, I'm sorry, billion dollars. And the 24 hour trading volume is currently sitting at $102.4 million. So not so bad right now. I know a lot of you are saying this is insane. Terra Luna Classic has not been pumping. We got rejected out of that 2.1 level of resistance. What are some next price targets we could be looking at? Guys, settle down, settle down, settle down. Let's relax. Let's take a deep breath. We're going to get into all that right now. But before we jump into the price, as you guys know, I make Terra Luna Classic updates every other day. Um, so obviously I was unable to cover this uh, earlier, but you guys can see Binance will support the Terra Classic network upgrade. And um, again, let's just go back a bit. Are we surprised right now? Are we surprised that Binance will be supporting Terra Luna Classic network upgrade? If you are uh, you know, part of the community for Terra Luna Classic and you hold um, Lunk uh, part of your portfolio, you already know that this should not be coming as a surprise to any one of you, and especially if you're a follower on my channel. The biggest exchange in the crypto space is you know, supporting Terra Luna Classic to succeed, while other exchanges across the market are still hesitant. The reason being, because you know, in terms of investors' uh, sentiment, they're still on the sidelines. Obviously, a massive, massive collapse last year, which really impacted the entire crypto space. Not a lot of investors really want to still touch it, but that does not mean that the eyes are not on Terra Luna Classic. I've told you guys this from the beginning, and I'll say it again. When things start moving up, they will move up very, very quickly. And we saw what happened just a few days back. But now let's get right into the charts and see what's going on and where is the price going in the immediate short term. As always, just a quick disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. But you guys can see over the past uh, few weeks, especially since December 17th, this is, you don't even have to be a TA expert to know that the price is in an upwards channel. We are clearly in an upwards trajectory formation pattern forming. And finally, uh, you know, just on February 3rd, when I made the video, uh, like the crazy video where everyone was getting really excited, we finally saw the price break out of this massive, massive level of res resistance, which I've been talking about for the longest time. And every single time, obviously, as you guys know, the price of Terra Luna Classic got rejected out of that level of resistance. But look what's happening this time around. Now we're being supported by that level of resistance. And this itself is the best indication for me that now, you know, we are seeing this level play out for us as a level of support. But that does not mean we're out of the woods just yet. Obviously, we would need to see the price hover around this range. I would not want it to retest this level of support. That would show weakness. But right now where the price is currently sitting at is definitely okay with me in terms of uh, you know, strength that it's showing. You guys know the price of um, Terra Luna Classic went all the way up to that 2.1 cents mark. And since then, we saw a retracement of about 15%, which is still quite healthy. Because if I bring up the measuring tool for you guys, let's say you picked up some Terra Luna Classic on December 17 at the yearly lows. You guys can see the price did go up about 50% since then, even after seeing a 15% retracement. So I don't want to hear people say that Terra Luna Classic is not performing. It definitely is performing. And it's quite impressive to see these kind of gains for a project that still has a lot of uncertainty on its side. But like I've said, and I'll say it again, 2023 is going to be massive. Obviously, now that the retail interest is coming back in the markets, the institutional interest is coming back into the markets, a lot of people are excited. That is going to bring eyes on Terra Luna Classic. And now what I'm projecting, as I've said in my other videos, we're going to see more exchanges 
finally, especially in the bull market, come and start supporting this. The reason being, in the bull market, we do tend to see more volume come into the cryptocurrency space. And obviously, these exchanges would want to compete with one another. Why would KuCoin, Huobi, um, all these other exchanges be okay with not supporting the burn and their biggest competitor, Binance, taking all the share of um, the fees? So that's some factor that we need to keep in mind. So far, so good, guys. We need to have patience and um, obviously let that sink in that, you know, Binance is supporting it and also Terra Classic, so USDC. I'm sorry, USTC, the Terra Classic USD coin has gone insane over the past you know, few weeks. If I do show you guys the exact number, you can see it has made some massive strides within itself. And that is gaining a lot of attention in terms of a repeg. A lot of pop people are talking about repegging. And what did I say from the beginning? CZ Binance has what it takes to repeg this literally tomorrow if he wanted to. Who knows if that's in his plan? Who knows if he's watching my video? Who knows? Obviously, some of you are going to say, like, that's absolutely insane. But remember, the power of the community is insane. What if my video does stumble upon someone that works at Binance? Guys, if they bring USTC, because now you may be saying, why would they do that to a failed project? What if CZ's number main goal is to make history? like a historic moment where he repegs USTC. Again, this is all speculation at the end of the day, but you've seen what happens in the bull market. But if you haven't, anything can happen in the crypto space. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the bull market. But again, speculation, but what if CZ Binance uh, were to say, you know what, let's make a statement. Let's make USTC our second most uh, popular stable coin and let's remove majority of the other ones and um, how crazy would that be now you may be saying who cares they're just going to inflate the price no what if they actually have a reserve set aside for 9.8 billion uh, coins uh, that are in obviously circulation for this so that would be very interesting to see how things go and obviously the rank is at the top 136 spot so a lot of things to keep in mind right now but i would love to know your thoughts down below where you could see the price of terra luna classic going do you think this is going to be a massive um you know historic thing that's going to happen obviously i wanted to hear more about the sbf testimony but obviously i don't want to speak a lot about on the system right now but i don't know how this guy commits the biggest crime second biggest crime in the financial history and get away with it and he's out on bail probably i don't even know what he's doing right now uh, but maybe probably like um, using those uh, users funds to, um, you know, I don't even know at this point what that guy's doing, but I wanted to really hear that. But, you know, that's very unfortunate. But that is it for today's topic. Uh, obviously, the bullish thing is to stay above this level of support. Uh, but so far, so good. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for all the support. See you guys tomorrow. I've been CryptoZX and peace out.